So how is it that we have a French case with an English movement inside it? There was a rivalry, obviously, between the French clockmakers and the English clockmakers. And when this little clock went wrong and Queen Mary sent it for repair, Tompion took one look and said, uh, I'll make you a proper clock for it. And that's what happened. And so that the dial has Tompion's name, but it's only just visible if you catch the light right. And the case has then been altered to enable a Tompion movement to go in it. If I open the front of the case, you can see how this has all been cut away to allow a new dial to be fixed onto the front of the clock. There wasn't enough room behind the clock door here and so can you see how it's all been cut away um, not quite as beautifully as it was made originally to take the new dial that Tompion has fitted but the case itself has had to be cut away you can see on each side um, it's been cut away to allow for the extra swing of uh, Tompion's pendulum The beautiful case here was probably made by Boulle in the workshops for Versailles and it was probably designed by Daniel Marrow. We have the pewter and the tortoiseshell which was the Boulle innovation to give these wonderful uh, coloured and outline cases and in the detail here on the front uh, you've got the Sun King himself. Hidden behind the Sun King on the front here is the setting uh, to alter the, the rate of the clock. And it's more accurate than most of Tompion's uh, setting dials in that it has a worm so that the the movement of the pendulum is much more accurately controlled and you can set it to run exactly to time. The gilded back plate um, is hinged with a, almost a piano type hinge, very very fine hinge on this side and it's balanced by uh, just an ornament on that side so that the hinge oscillates around this centre but isn't it a beautiful engraving on the outside all these floral swirls and the church and the tree um, in the centre there. The lovely pierced brass fret um, surrounded by the frame in pewter uh, lined with the wonderful red silk uh, to let the sound of the hour striking bell uh, ring out into the room. Eleven o'clock at night. This is an interesting clock. It was made in Paris um, about 200 years ago and it seems to have been a copy of the original drawings um, because the, the Boulle work is virtually identical with here. But I think it's interesting to compare the two because this is probably what the original French clock looked like. It's interesting to compare the two fronts in that this, the glass just opens, whereas in Queen Mary's clock, the whole of the front opens and it's had to be cut away inside the door here to receive the new dial and adjustment mechanism fitted by Tompion. It's the same on the back of the clock. If I turn the two clocks around, you can see the plain back of this one and the complicated, beautiful engraving on the Tompion. So 
fits probably how this clock was originally and has then been altered. As with most 300 year old clocks, this little clock has not got a contemporary document drawn up by the Lord Chief Justice, signed by the Archbishop of Canterbury, lodged in the Bank of England to prove that it belonged to Queen Mary. But there's lots of supporting evidence as well as the oral tradition that this little clock was owned by Queen Mary when she was married uh, with William and they were joint monarchs, William and Mary. So this is a very complicated period of history, of English history, um, because after the death of Cromwell, um, his son took over as Lord Protector and he hadn't got the personality to control the army or the parliament and basically all uh, law and order started to break down. Charles II was invited back and he came over with his brother and within a few months uh, James uh, was marrying uh, heavily pregnant Anne Hyde. Uh, the child was born t about two months later but unfortunately died and they had a second child together um, who was named Mary. At the age of 15 Mary was betrothed to William of Orange, the, the Prince of Orange and they were later married and went back to live in Holland. So basically William and Mary were cousins together and uh, when James started bringing back um, Catholic laws um, there was a, a lot of outcry against him and uh, William and Mary came over to England and James just fled and left them to the kingdom. So some recent research by Jeremy Evans of the British Museum um, has found an invoice to Queen Mary herself from Tompion uh, listing for £40 a clock in a Red Bull case. It's thought that that is the invoice for Tompion putting the clock in here. And you can see Tompion's uh, signature which he's hidden within the matting on the dial here and it's also on the back.